Alright, hello everybody. In this tutorial, I will be demonstrating, well not really, I do more verbal than anything, but um, I'll be explaining how you can get, this is strictly for people who do not have their Kindles rooted. Mine is rooted, but you can still do this without it being rooted. Now, what I'm showing you is how to get basically most of the apps that are in the actual droid market since the Amazon market does not contain a lot of the apps that the droid market does have. Now some apps you might not find but you will find a majority of them that are not in your actual market. And uh, there's two ways you can do this. If you know exactly what you're looking for you can easily just use the Foreshare app which is actually in the Amazon market. Or if you want to actually, hold on. And some narcos earlier, fucking with my stomach. <laughs> but um, if you want an actual app to where you can just press it and have a market to where you can download stuff that's in that. <gasps> what the fuck, man? During the actual Droid market, what you're gonna want to do is you're actually gonna need Foreshare installed. <gasps> what the fuck, man? You're actually gonna need Foreshare installed either way, regardless. And after you install it, you're gonna wanna search for panda app dot apk which is p a n d a a p p dot apk and that's all one word by the way all one word after you install that the icon will look like this little fucking panda i'm not sure if you can see that that well A little panda looking ass nigga and um... it'll load up it should look something like this and it's basically the droid market and apps that are the apps that do charge you to uh, that want you to pay for them that are in the market um, you can get in here for free by the way not saying that it's legal but it's everybody's playground and you can search around in here they got categories just like the droid market and you could also view this site on your desktop on a computer if you were to search for Panda app on Google, they have their own site. So if you don't want to use your tablet to actually download, um, if you don't want to use your uh, tablet to actually download it directly, if you have a USB cord and you just want to transfer it over and install it with the uh, file thingy, majigger, file explorer or whatever, you can do it like that. And uh, that's how you can get free apps or apps that aren't in your market on the Kindle Fire and uh, deuces